What's lit, my vinegars? You thought I said the n-word, but I can't because I'm a white, straight, cis male. <laughs> I thought for this video, I'd show you guys a tour of my studio. So here's my studio. It looks like this. This is actually my room I share with my sister. This is her side, which is gross and disgusting. Here's season six of The Simpsons. My sister made this like Zelda thing because she likes Zelda because she's a fucking nerd. And then here's my mirror in which I like staring at myself in because as an artist, I'm very narcissistic. Now this is where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean blood rituals and here are the only three instruments I really own. I have this melodica right here, which I use to craft my blowy breathy tunes. Next, I have my trusty nylon string guitar, which I took from middle school. If you don't believe me, just check the butt. As you can see here, it says LUSD. The main reason I took this guitar was one, I didn't have a guitar. Two, I felt that the people who were gonna come after me weren't gonna respect and love this instrument enough, and I was like, hey, I like you, uh, you beautiful, sexy, soft string guitar, and I'm gonna make beautiful music with you, and I've been using this guitar ever since. And then next, I have my MIDI controller, which is a Elisys Q49, which is just a simple MIDI controller that you just plug in and to your computer and you just play it and stuff. But I can't play it like right now because it's not plugged in. And then next, I have my microphone, which is a Blue Yeti. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, things to record with. Also has a pop filter, which I got at the Goodwill. It's actually for a Samson, but for some reason the thing fit on the bottom. So I plug it in and I put my mouth to this thing and I breathe really softly. Sometimes when I do asthma, I like rubbing my mustache against the mic. It also has all these settings that you can use, which are really cool. It has a stereo setting, surround sound, cardio setting, and a back and forth setting. So I, it lets me you know, do stuff. And this is my bookshelf. I have a, a lamp made out of salt from the Himalayas right here. And I just have random books I got. Some books on aesthetics and some books on like synchronicity. Here's also where I put my rings, my pins, my necklaces, and you know, my bracelets. Right here is where all the magic happens. And then here's my Salvador Dali poster that I have. I, I really like Salvador Dali a lot. He's my favorite artist. Um, Got this poster about two years ago, and I hung it up right in back of my computer because his art really inspires me. Like, I'm really into surreal stuff, dreams. Um, he was born into the Spanish bourgeoisie, uh, like, a long time ago, so I really can't relate to him on that level, but, like, I relate to his art a lot, and I used to draw a lot of clocks and splatting weird stuff. And then right here is a little portrait I have that someone from a cold European country drew of supposedly me, but I don't think they've ever seen a Mexican person in real life because they look super white. But I really like the cosmic tacos and the poncho and then even the, the necklace and the hairy chest, which I can't grow because of my mongoloid jeans. And then these are the speakers I own. Um, they're the default M audio ones that you can get. They have like a blue thing. So that's how you know that I have that one. And then they have these little holes you can put your stuffs in. And then here's the computer that I got from the money uh, of selling all of my mixtapes. So I want to thank you guys so much for this beautiful computer. It's getting me uh, through a lot of stuff that I got to do. Uh, the processing and everything's fine. Also, my, my keyboard is wireless. My mouse is wireless because we live in the future. This empty coffee cup is wireless. You could just drink out of it. And then here's my phone. And on top of my phone is my analog computer because I still use notebooks when writing ideas and stuff. And this bad boy right here is my chair. It's falling apart, but I love it because it's my chair. So I want to thank you guys for watching my exclusive studio tour. 